Hey y'all, it's Lindsay. Today I'm going to do a what I eat in a day video on a low carb keto diet. I have already had some coffee and breakfast. All right, it is about 8.45, 8.40 almost. Um, and Jared has made us breakfast. So these are some fat head dough rolls, like dinner rolls that I made a little bit larger last night for dinner. And then he has added some bacon some cheese and cooked an egg in a little ring so that it's a cute little circle. So we're gonna have those for breakfast. We are heading out the door to a pumpkin patch. I'm not terribly sure that we'll have any food out there because it's mid morning and I think we intend on coming home before lunch. But let's uh, let's just go along this day. <laughs> we have a combo platter of steak and chicken fajitas for a lunch that Jared and I are gonna split. And then I'm just gonna have the lettuce part of this and the sour cream part, none of the rice and none of the beans for lunch. <laughs> Cabinets are open. It's a mess in here, it's 5.30 almost, and I am in the midst of cooking some dinner. We are going to have kind of like a loaded potato soup, but instead of using potatoes, obviously since we are keto, we will be using the frozen cauliflower. So here in my Instant Pot, I have some, it's currently working. It's got about, I don't know, two pounds of frozen cauliflower florets, some of the bone broth here, and then also um, some sauteed up onions, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And then right here, I went ahead and I pre-cooked up some chicken and some bacon in my Instant Pot using that saute mode so that it's kind of like a one pot deal. I love the Instant Pot for that because honestly, like it could be a lot more, it could be a lot more work than necessary if I wasn't using that Instant Pot, it's the best. <laughs> I love it. Um, and it's super overcast right now. It's not very cold. It's like 60 degrees, so it's not cold at all. But the overcastness of it, and then us going to a fall festival situation today, that really kind of makes me want soup. So that's what we are doing. Once that cauliflower is out of the Instant Pot or the Instant Pot is finished with it, I'm going to use my immersion blender, blend that up, and then I'm gonna add in a bunch of cheese. And um, I think I might have green onions that are still good that I can chop up, but I'll have to double check. Anyway, I think we might also serve those with, or serve the soup with some rice for the girls to help thicken it up for them. And then I think we might use some of those low carb keto dinner rolls that we had our breakfast on this morning just to kind of like have something kind of ready to go alongside of it. Those rolls turned out pretty okay. Um, it's a recipe I followed and I've followed it a couple of times now. And um, I follow the recipe to a T. I'm not very good at following recipes to the letter to be honest with you. And I'm never really, upset at myself for that, but this go around, I decided I'm gonna follow this recipe to the letter and it didn't have salt in it and it didn't even occur to me like, oh, I need to add a little bit of salt to this, otherwise it's going to not taste very um, flavorful. Like, you know, salt just really draws out the flavors of stuff, so. Anyway, I proceeded to not put any salt in it, so they're a little bit bland, to be honest. So, if I ever make that recipe again, I'm definitely adding salt, it needs it bad, but. Anyway, all right, I'm rambling. I'm gonna go tend to my kitchen, clean this mess up while that is in the Instant Pot, and then keep moving forward. Dinner is ready. All right, so we have our loaded chicken cauliflower soup that I just kind of masterminded into my Instant Pot here. Topped it off with some bacon bits, some shredded Colby Jack cheese, and some fresh green onions for myself and Jared. The girls have some rice mixed into theirs. Jared and I are going to eat some of those keto dinner rolls that I had talked about um, that we'd also eaten for breakfast. Jared toasted them up in some butter in a skillet. It looks delicious, it smells delicious, and we are hungry. 